What's up, everybody? Hey. How are you today? Thanks for joining us. We are so excited to share with you one of our favorite topics, and it is on how to make time to work out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so crucial. So many of us fall victim to not making time to work out and not making working out a priority. Mm -hmm. And what we found is many of our clients realize when they start to prioritize things or write down a list of things of priorities in their life, they realize they're spending too much time watching television, they're spending too much time on the computer. Uh, for me, personally, it was too much time at work. You know, I wasn't stopping my work day in enough time to actually give myself the rest and the time to work out that I needed to be my best self. Yeah, and I think for a lot of us females, and sometimes guys can relate to this as well, mm -hmm. we spend a lot of our time sympathizing with each other and sharing what's not going well, sharing negativity. And this po program yeah. is really all about being super, super positive. And we really want to encourage you that if somebody is draining you um, out of negativity, you might not realize it's happening, but somebody's pouring a lot of negativity into your life, uh, and you're just telling them it's okay, it happens, we're kind of enabling them. And we want to right. encourage you to not enable. Crucial. You don't want to be an enabler. Yeah. And you also don't want to have somebody else's priority become your priority. Exactly. That's when we lose our own goals and we lose ourselves in the process. Yeah. And I think it's important here that we are clear that, you know, a, a little bit of each one of these things we touched on is not a bad thing. You know, we do want to be empathetic towards people and we do want to care for others and be Thanks. listeners. We also, it's fine to watch a little TV, let yourself veg out, but it's not, you know, four or five straight hours. And we also need to work. And whatever we're working on or working in, either one, it's important to find the balance. So we really recommend that people begin to take time and prioritize working out. And when you start to prioritize that, you realize that you, you almost figure or find how could, you'll think to yourself, how could I have gone this long without prioritizing my health mm. and my well-being? Yeah, because it's not really a lack of time in the day, you know? Right. That's not what we're lacking. It's just that we're spending our time on other things. And we've exactly. put importance to some things that aren't necessarily that important to us reaching our goals. Right. And a lot of times it is just a matter of focus, you know, being focused on that priority. And it will start to change everything. And the other thing is you'll find that there's a lot of time alleviation in, in meal prep. And so this this amazing schedule that Steph's worked out for everyone mm -hmm. and the nutrition schedule will really save a lot of time in the week not to focus so much on preparing food but yet being able to just enjoy food mm -hmm. after a really great workout you know yeah, so yeah. what we want to do is alleviate some time to work out more but we also don't want to fill that time with more television you know more computer time more enabling we want to really make sure that we're saving the, at least an hour every day if not more which yeah. brings me to a really good point. That was, no, I want to hear yeah. what you have to say. So I'm a big believer that you know, we need to be moving all day long. And I do Ooh, recommend yeah. at least an hour a day to yourself of working out, if it's stretching, walking, or actually you know, going through a HIIT training workout. But I do recommend that we can still think of our daily routine as a bit of a workout. And you'll hear the term movement, movement quality, a lot uh, these days in the fitness industry. There really is something to that because what we've done as a new society is replaced a lot of the, the work. we replaced a lot of the movement throughout our, our old farming, agriculture lifestyles. Um, you know, also having the automobiles taking a lot of daily motion out of our lives. Mm -hmm. So we begin to replace a lot of that with stagnation. And the more we can offset stagnation with just movement, and one way, one tip I'd recommend is taking these moves that you're receiving from the HIT training and from the, this program as well that I put together and start implementing them throughout your day. Start implementing them little bits, you know, walking lunges down the hall at work, take a few squats around your chair, maybe 10 or 12 chair squats every hour, mm. um, taking some time to stretch at your desk. Uh, if you're driving your car, you know, if you, you can really focus on your proper posture, keeping your uh, hip flexors engaged. There's all kinds of things we can do to be moving more appropriately throughout our day. So when we do get to that hour to work out, it's more fun than it is like trying to counteract the stagnation. I was gonna say that right now, you guys can't even tell, but Josh is bouncing on one leg over here. <laughs> sort of, something like that. <laughs> Just kidding, but that's something you can do. That's gonna be a running theme throughout this entire video series. We're actually uh, balancing on one leg while we're doing these videos. Yeah, <laughs> practicing our balance. And um, we really forget that we're made to move. As human beings, we're made to move. 
and we spend a lot of our time sitting, as Josh talked about. So mm. I'm all about that. We have integrated so many things into our lives. Like in the evening time, when normally we would spend time watching TV, we decided to take TV out of our lives and start stretching during that time. And oh my gosh, the conversations we have are amazing. Sure. So good. And uh, that never would have happened if we were just sitting watching TV. Totally. So that time you spend could be really a time of connection with someone else. Um, but let's not be afraid to share connection. Um, and just sometimes the easiest route is to tune out, as you said, TV, internet, whatever it may be. But let's challenge ourselves to not tune out. Let's tune in. Sure. And I think something else is, is being focused on those areas where you can start tuning into places where you can adapt your day mm. to have more movement. As in, if you need to go to the grocery store, say it's a mile away from you, why not take a walk? Make it your 40-minute walk day mm -hmm. and walk to the grocery store. Um, you know, why not park a little further away when you're at a shopping mall and make yourself walk that extra, you know, two football fields? I mean, that might sound like a lot, but go ahead and get those extra steps in for the day. Or like Steph's saying, even if you are watching TV, you can still be stretching and you can still be moving around. You can do tricep dips on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> There's all kinds of things you can play with. Um, every time I walk up a flight of stairs, I really get into it, and you know, I, I engage no, my glutes. Josh is like, game face. <laughs> and I'm doing like walking lunges up the stairs. And yeah. for me, why not stop and do a set of pushes to the top? I mean, yeah, why not? There's no reason not to. You know, I think the more that we can start implementing our daily routine and our lifestyle, mm -hmm. the healthier we're going to be. Yeah, it's beautiful. So, our top tips, just to recap, we want you to move more throughout your day really prioritize it at all times mm -hmm. and then when it comes to getting your workout in we want your workout to be something you look forward to and something you love right so it's really uh something you want to make time for yeah it doesn't have to be something that you're you're forcing or you're having to do it you know you're really taking time to just do something that you love and enjoy yeah beautiful yeah. i know for you it's like when you when you wake up in the morning you actually look forward to a workout right Oh, totally. Me like, too. I know it's my time it. and I'm going to be with myself and checking in with my body. Mm. And I think that, I think you referenced this earlier, Steph, that in this country a lot of times we have programmed ourselves, conditioned ourselves to feel like a workout is a chore. Right. But the more we can make workout, you know, and that's again for lack of a better term, workout. Because it's really, you know, we don't have to go work out for an hour. We just want to be moving and enjoying life. Yeah. And I think the more we can make that a luxury, just make that fun, you know, the, the better our life and our quality of life's going to be. Totally. Sure. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us today. We are just amazingly excited that yeah. you're here. So excited. It's, um, awesome. it's the most fun thing in the world to live healthier lives and have healthier bodies. So congratulations to you. And um, second that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. High five it out. And have one for you guys. <laughs> All right, we love you, and we will see you in the next video. Love you all. Thanks.